Hello, 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 hello. I am Steve and welcome back to the motorcycle side of this channel. Before anything else, let's get into it. So in the short run, you basically want to know how is it cornering, how is it on the long journey, how is it on the short journeys? Basically, is it worth the money that I've purchased them for? And the short answer, yes. Yes, that is a very much so. So there you go, click eBay, buy, put install them, watch that next video, and so on. In the long run, how do I actually feel about it? That's 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 kind of like if 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 you if you want to know the short run, there you go. But if you want to know the long run, here you go. So I'll start with the backstory of why I got these in the first place. And because I'm a short ass, I'm about five foot six, so I've had to lower the front so fork to my twenty mil and to put a, a dog bone on the back that what was forty mil. So now I can actually touch the floor. And I've been using that for quite a few years, but I always kept finding that I've always feels like I'm stretched over, so my, my shoulder blades a lot further apart, if that makes sense. And I always seem to get a lot of shoulder pain. So I wasn't sure if that was because of a mountain bike accident or it's just long ass riding on this bike. So yeah, I usually find I usually be like very stretched out because I always want to sit quite far back and now I'm pretty much like not too far back but I feel a little bit more comfortable because I always kept finding I've had to keep moving adjusting my arms because I felt like they're too stretched out and so on and to be honest it still handles the exact same as I would think it would but a little bit more further back you know So it still turns just as good. If you want. Now I do find the best thing as well, now I've just noticed, is that because I've got a GoPro on, it, it always finds, I always find it quite heavy. So I always feel like, when I'm knackered, I'm like, I want to lean down. And I think because I was stretched out, and then also I'm a lot further forward, makes my helmet feel like it's a lot heavier than it is but now I feel a lot more upright the GoPro isn't that as much noticeable as it used to be so if you're thinking about doing a bit of vlogging and you've got a GoPro it's, that's a no, uh, bonus as well so there you have it really is it is it worth buying? yeah I believe so if you're a short ass like me 